What's going on everybody? This is Patrick, Mid 10 Outdoors. Come back. I'm going to talk about the one item I did buy on prom day. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick with Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I'm doing much better. Um, <clears throat> last week's video was all I can muster. Um, I was actually feeling a lot better by the time the video came out. But I've had uh, around three of COVID since that stuff started. Um, feeling a lot better. Still have a little bit of a call from time to time. But nothing that we can't get past um but i will tell you there were four days the week before that i was dead to the world i was um i just wasn't functioning and it was bad but we're gonna move on it's part of life these days so we'll just keep on going so i got one thing one thing off prime day um and it's the only thing I really need to replace in my stuff. I see the old one sitting over here. Um, my main water container for a long time was one of the blue ones from Walmart. Had it for a long time. I've used it a living crap out of the thing. It's held up well. Um, notice the last time it was leaking around the nozzle. And I thought, okay, it's just, you know, it's... Maybe I've cross-threaded it or something. So I, I stood it up, took the nozzle apart, screwed it back in. And when I screwed it back in the second time, it, it almost snapped off of my hand. And I realized, no, it was cracked. It was broke. Um, I could order another nozzle. They got them online. You can buy another one. And, and actually, that's part of what I was going to end up doing was ordering another nozzle and, be, and just be done with it. Um, but then I have another one that I take with me when I go colder water, you know, doing colder stuff and won't water insulate so it doesn't freeze in the back of the truck. Um, so I had one that I've had forever that's insulated and carried the living crap out of it for s several trips. Um, but it's starting to, it's plastic on one end of it in, uh, or on the nozzle end. And it's starting to do that dry rotting, cracking kind of thing where you can see the plastics deteriorating so bad. I've had that thing probably 15, 20 years. It's old. So that's what I got on Prime Day was a new water vessel for the truck and for camping. It's the Coolsmint 12 liter or 3.2 gallon water container. Yeah, these are BPA free and all that you know, good stuff and it is. Uh, food safe plastic and all that so let's take a look at it get it out of the box I've already had it out this is what you get and we're going to talk about that's all you get in the box um, we're going to talk about a couple of things I really were after on this thing but I'll get it up and let you see it real close see how this thing looks You'll probably see real quick one of the biggest selling points on this was the dual handle. You have a handle which you can carry it like so, or you have the handle where you can carry it like so. The other big thing that really sold me on this was this big wide opening to fill it up with. So you really don't have, uh, I mean, you've got a huge opening right there to A, get in, fill it up, B, stick your arm in and wipe out. Now, it did come with this cute little thing. That's pretty neat. I've got a pretty decent thing in here. And it can give you another cap for this end. So if you're transporting water and you don't need the spigot in, you unscrew the spigot in like so, sit it off to the side, and then you have well, I can't screw. Then you have a solid end. Now, I was thinking too, you could probably do some kind of adapting with one of those electric pumps um, to that. 
it's gonna look at this you know do some cut and make it work but this you could probably do some plumbing stuff and or you might even be able to adapt um, one of those electric ones on here I don't care for one of the electric ones it's just something else I'd have to worry about charging up and making sure it's ready to go whereas this one it's mechanical. Can it leak and cause problems down the road? Sure, sure it can. But uh, I like the fact that you know you can you know flip it open and turn it on a couple different ways. You know, however you want to do it. But um, that's it. it. It's green. It's not as big of a cube as what I had. I could probably actually stick it in the truck. I thought about wrapping it with insulation. To keep it from freezing in the winter um, there's several things I could do with it uh, like I said it's you know it, it's it's I like the handles I like the fact you got two handles uh, you can carry it different ways uh, you could probably even strap it down with no problems run you a strap over it like that that way it doesn't fall over or anything but uh, anyway it's a really nice water container um, 12 liters that's plenty for me um, the military green I just got the military green um, but it was on sale I didn't pay a whole lot for it I'll, I'll, I'll put down right now what I actually paid for it while I was on Amazon Prime but uh, anyway that's what I got that's the only thing I got that is the only thing I got on Prime um, I really don't you know I've been looking at stuff Thought about getting a big, um, bigger um, power station to have. I've got a 20, what is that, 26,000 or 26,000 milliamp hour battery pack that I take with me camping that I can charge my phone fully. I can charge my iPad up from, you know, sticky situation, I guess. I can charge my watch with it. I could charge camera batteries if I needed to with it to a certain extent. I, um, but it doesn't have any kind of AC uh, 110 plug ups or anything like that. So do I get a bigger power station at some point? I don't know. I don't know that I'll ever run a refrigerator in the truck and that'd be the only thing I would want a power station for is to be able to um, power up a refrigerator. But you know, my, most of my camping is at the most three nights. So, and it's usually spring and spring and fall. It's not in the middle of summer, so I don't eat up ice like some people do. You know, that kind of stuff. So, anyways, guys, that's it for this one. We're going to try to get. I'm going to try to get out next weekend and take you somewhere, do something, and we'll have a little fun. So that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hope everybody stays safe out there. Watch out for that virus because it's it's running around. I know several people have got it right now. See you on the next one. Be prepared.